moves up outside of Chardonnay. Those two right together, second and third. They're two and a half clear of Ocean Size, who starts to put into a rally with sixth or seventh. A minute ago is now all the way up to fourth and drawn within two and a half of Miss Midnight, who turns for home. Miss Midnight by the 5-16th pole. That lead diminishing, though. Hidden connection, Chardonnay, and a four-wide Ocean Size. Those three all coming after this longtime leader. Hidden connection off the turn now hits the front. Ocean Size tries to go with that one down the outside. Miss Midnight has folded the tent, is now back to fourth as Chardonnay goes by that one. But a final furlong left to go, and Ray Lou and Hidden Connection take off for home. It's Hidden Connection to the 16th pole. Now a widening four, five lengths ahead. Ocean Size second, and clearly second at that. No doubt about first. This is impressive here. Hidden Connection looks good. Wins it by about seven in the end. Ocean Size was second. DNA Soul close to get up for third. Chardonnay fourth. And they're off. Lemieux hustled hard for that outside post, quickly out to grab the lead on the ones and twos as prominent toward the inside. Majestic Burrow's not far behind, and Hidden Connection stuck a little bit wide, moving into that first turn, tries to cross over as best she can, moves all the way up into third, and is challenging for second as they move around the opening turn. So it is Lemieux in front, in front by three quarters of a length. Hidden Connection is now second on the ones and twos toward the inside. Third, Majestic Doro is three wide, moving up from fourth. Knees and hips is four wide, racing fifth. Farther out than that is Miss Chavita in sixth. And then it's Mama Marina toward the inside, racing seventh. Goddess of Fire, six lengths off the lead. Just ahead of Maxine Machine. And code for success trails the field. A moderate opening quarter in 24 and one fifth seconds. It is Lemieux the leader heading for the far turn. Stalked intently by Hidden Connection, who prompts this pace past the half mile pole. Majestic Doro has moved up to be third. On the ones and twos toward the inside, racing fourth. Miss Chamita sent on for speed with a wide sweep from fifth. Goddess of Fire under a heavy drive, racing six. Mama Marina, seventh code for success, moves up into eighth. Maxine Machine, and at the back is knees and hips as they round the far turn. Hidden Connection has taken the lead as they come for the top of the stretch. The Muse checked out of it. Majestic Doro's right there, second. On the ones and twos, pops outside from third. Goddess of Fire, fourth code for success, is fifth. And down inside is Mama Marina. They're off the turn. They're into the stretch. Hidden Connection shaken up to a three-length lead. And now it's four. Majestic Doro's trying hard. Mama Marina toward the inside. Goddess of Fire's late in the scene on the ones and twos behind that. But they are all chasing Hidden Connection. Hidden Connection streaking through the stretch to win the Pocahontas by eight lengths on the wire. Off in the Net Jets Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies, and there goes Ekko Zulu. Right to the front and opening up from Tarabi, who's away running in second. Desert Dawn is third early on. The Juju's map and hidden connection between horses. Sequest is at the back of the pack as they make their way into that first turn. Echo Zulu wasting no time here. She's on top by a length and a half. Tarabi is running in second. Juju's map off the rail third. She's two and a half lengths off the lead, heading to the back stretch. The Desert Dawn on the inside of Hidden Connection, and Sequest is the trailer. The first quarter was 23.42 seconds. A solid pace up the back stretch, set by this fast filly Echo Zulu. She's on top by a length and a half over to Robbie in second. Hidden Connection is in between Juju's map and Desert Dawn, and they've got five lengths on Sequest. Echo Zulu and 47.01 for the first half mile. The pace is not all that fast for her, and she's going to move into the far turn under Joel Rosario with a length and a half lead. Tarabi is hanging in there in second. Juju's map is third, and she's gaining a bit of ground now. Hidden Connection is full out, being asked for more by Relu Gutierrez. Desert Dawn and Sequist, Echo Zulu, motoring along on the far turn. She still has a two-length lead. Tarabi has run a big race. Juju's map is there on the outside, and they're into the stretch, and it's Echo Zulu, set down for the final furlong, opening up by four. Tarabi and Juju's man battling for second behind a no doubt champion. Echo Zulu wins the Net Jets Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies by five and a half lengths. And then it was Juju's man followed by Tarabi. And they're off, ending Rachel Alexandra Stakes. And here's Turner Loose who strikes out. Look great, showing good speed from the rail there as they head toward the clubhouse turn. A week at midnight in the purple cap and hidden connection was to get some position for Raylo Gutierrez as they enter the clubhouse turn. It's Leclerc. So Leclerc out in front and takes the shortest way around there for Joel Rosario with hidden connection. Finding a good spot as these three old fillies go to the back of the track. 
Wake at Midnight is third. Then toward the inside is Turner Loose in fourth. Goddess of Fire is fifth. North County in sixth. Followed by Divine Huntress was a wide seventh, making this back stretch run with Dream Lift held up and behind Phillies. That comes Miss Maddie B, Candy Rain, and California Angel wide has dropped back to 11th and last the quarter in 23.94 seconds now at the four and a half. And uh, oh, something went wrong with LaCrette. LaCrette has uh, been pulled up. Silver Bullet Day Stakes winner LaCrette pulled up as Hidden Connection inherited the front. Half mile in 48. Point 18 seconds, they round the far turn. It's Hidden Connections lead. Right there is a wake at midnight with Goddess of Fire now making a bit on the outside. Divine Huntress is farther out coming toward the top of the stretch. Then toward the inside, Turner Loose with North County. Dreamlift is wide. It's Hidden Connection who leads them for the quarter pole. We trail back to Miss Maddie B along with wide Candy Raid and then California Angel. They've straightened three quarters. Hit woman at 13.07 seconds. And here comes Goddess of Fire who descends on Hidden Connection. One for long to go. Charging is Turner loose. Then to the inside of Wake at Midnight. Miss Maddie B is next. They're deep in the final 16th. It's Goddess of Fire and Turner loose down to them. Turner loose for Florent Giroux. Turner loose to win the Rachel Alexandra Stakes. Turner loose to get and beat Goddess of Fire. Then Awake at Midnight. Hidden Connection and Miss Maddie B. They're off from the Twinspires.com, Fairground Zokes, and Echo Zulu broke smooth. For Joao Rosario, there's Echo Zulu with Turner Loose and Hidden Connection. Strides up on the outside. Favor, Sequest in the black cap, and Berna Breezy has dropped back to last. They have seven furlongs to run. And it's Echo Zulu. So the champion leads these three old fillies to the back of the track. Echo Zulu out in front, leads Turner Loose. With just over six furlongs to run from here, Echo Zulu, Turner Loose. With on the outside, hitting connection as Favor looks to gain toward the inside, making his backstretch run. Sequest is running second to last, and Bernard Breezy trails the sextet the leader, Echo Zulu. The quarter was 23.79 seconds. Echo Zulu doing this easily out in front, tracked by Turner Loose. With Favor right there at Echo Zulu's heels, hitting connection, fourth on the outside. They have a half mile to run. Then it's Sequest, with six lengths off the lead. And the lead still remains Echo Zulu's as they enter the far turn. Bernard Breezy remains last. Half mile, 47.68 seconds. It's Echo Zulu, three quarters length. Turner Loose still looking to get up here to Echo Zulu with Hidden Connection on the outside, launching her bid. It's Echo Zulu, who leads for the quarter pole. Favor Sequest end, Bernard Breezy is last. It's Echo Zulu after three quarters and one minute 11. Point 70 seconds. Echo Zulu charging hidden connection. Favor toward the inside as Turner Loose has dropped back. There's one for long to go. It's Echo Zulu who leads against the inside for Joel Rosario. Hidden connection trying hard on the outside. Favors third. They're close to home. It's Echo Zulu. Hidden connection on the outside. Echo Zulu and hidden connection. Photo finish in the fairground zones. A nose between Echo Zulu looking to remain undefeated and hit a connection, tested the champion all the way in the fairgrounds oaks.